you oh, are on. live. I was dancing to the music. Anyways, hi, we're back. Um, we're your <clears throat> <laughs> longest drink in the world. The longest drinkers in the world are over there having a good time. So, what are we doing? It's side dish. You come to the right place if you're looking for that. Amy's back in town. Denise is here. Um, Amy, where were you last week that you abandoned us? I was in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada for a Nevada State Education Association board meeting. I did not get to the strip at all. I did see that big sphery thing that lights up. Um, what do you think of that thing? Well, it scared me actually because I could only see like a quarter of it when I was waiting in line for, or I wasn't waiting in line. I was waiting for an elevator. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden it like, um, kicked on blue and it kind of scared me because like all of a sudden out of the sure. corner of my eye through the window was this big blue thing yeah i'm all doomed totally um and then it like flashes and things so then you like think like you're having a lightning storm but you're not and i just kind of found it obnoxious from my point of view but oh. i also wasn't like on the strip and doing that right i was there for business so well yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we've so much has been going on. It snowed last night. It's snowing currently. Um, the Sierra Nevadas, which are our, which way are we? That away. They're like that way. Yeah. Over Donner Pass, Lake Tahoe. Like all of those places are, they're in a blizzard. One of the worst. They are. It's yeah. one of the worst. They like shut things down. Yeah. It's like one of the worst in like what? 10, 15 years, they said. It's really like worse than last year? Because last year, we had a very strong winter. We did, but this is just the conditioning being. It, they had 130. The wind has been They low. had 135 mile an hour winds, plus yeah. snow, plus cold, plus, 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 yeah. plus, plus. We uh, So our fences are probably, what? Uh, how old now? 15 years old? We've lived here for five years, and it was, this yeah. house was 10 years old when we moved in. Yeah. And I was really surprised <clears throat> that nobody, well, I work in the Northwest, which gets a lot more wind than we do where we live. Yeah. But the way the wind was blowing up there, I thought for sure, oh, there's going to be all kinds of downed fences. Sure. But none in our neighborhood, knock on wood, that I've seen so far. Yeah. Lots yeah. of rain, yeah. Well, We're it's... having an atmospheric river. Yeah. It was really sad. So I got to tell you, I want to talk more about Las Vegas. Could you beep them, please? Oh, sure. Beep. Um, okay, so first of all, on my way to Vegas, I sat next to a delightful gentleman who is an architect. And we had a great conversation. He has three children in the Las Vegas school system, public school system. And we had a delightful chat for the... <clears throat> 52 minutes of the flight and then I got into a taxi with a man who was a former um you, you keep telling your story I'll be right sure back. he's a former uh, commercial real estate agent Leave and I alone. said well Go. why are you driving a cab now and he said because my wife said I needed to be humbled <laughs> I forgot about that and I was like Oh, really? And he's like, yeah. She said I was like getting too big for my britches and um, I needed to be humble. So now I'm doing, so I retired from that and now I'm doing this. And I said, uh, is it working? <laughs> and he said, no, not really. And then he backtracked and he said, actually, I am seeing the other side. And um, so, yes, it is actually working. He was getting to, uh, he, his wife was going to be, is going to be retiring in April and then they're going to on a two week trip to Paris. Lucky them. So I wish them, uh, all the happiness. He was awesome. And I just love that conversation. But so what made me think of that was he was talking about when the atmospheric rivers come through Vegas, it's really quite sad because it uh, washes out all the gullies and underpasses and things, and they always have homeless people who yeah. are displaced and or killed yeah. during those events. And and then we kind of talked about, like, 
what a hard problem that is to solve and so on and so forth. So, sorry to end on a downer. My, the two people I was talking to were absolutely delightful. Just totally made my trip. I loved it. Hi, John. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> she did want his ass out of the house because he was driving her crazy. And also, yeah. I can see how he might be a little bit full of himself, but yeah. yeah. So, what do I got here, Aim? What did I make today? Oh, Douglas made baguettes. And they are very beautiful. Although you say they are not crusty enough. No, I mean, they are in the top. Oh, there you They're go. That's fun. a nice thumb. Wait, They're... let me be quiet and do it again. No, yeah, that's a good thumb. Yeah. So, uh, so we're going to use, we're going to use. Such French mini gluten, <laughs> yes. Many things. Okay, so we need to make this mix first. We're going to make. Wait, uh, I have a question. Did you use your same bread recipe that you love no, so much? No, this, oh, okay. this is a specific. A Baguette. French woman's, no, I don't know. Anyways, it's a woman, she claims to be French. She's on the internet. She said it was a baguette recipe. I thought, well, let's try it. So what, what would we... happen if you used your, because it makes really good like hoagie rolls and buns and things. Why wouldn't it make a good baguette? Because I don't think the inside texture wouldn't be the same. It would be too fluffy. You want the, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you okay, want, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You want it to be like drier so it can like yeah. hold stuff. Okay, yeah. So I have eight ounces of cremini mushrooms that I've sliced. And um, this always, so I told, what I'm, okay, let me start over. <laughs> I'm making these two mixes. We're gonna make two types of uh, crustaceans. We're gonna make this leek and uh, mushroom with other yum yum stuff. And then we're going to make a kind of a Mediterranean with red peppers, roasted red peppers and artichoke hearts and uh, roast uh, sun dried tomatoes and garlic and just yum. So, but I was thinking we're going to have so much leek lad. Um, <laughs> Well, th there's a reason because the weather is so shitty. Are Cremini's baby Bellas? They can't. Uh, well, no. No, they're technically not. Baby Bellas, well, it's hard to say. Like, what they sell is, I'd have to look, but I think so. No. Yeah, technically they are. I thought Cremini's were more um, creamier. I think it's just creamier because of the, uh, Is it just because baby Bellas are littler? Yeah. So little and cute. So this is all, um, these are two, well, it's technically two leaks, but I have four in here and I'll tell you why. Because the- John will look this up. He is a fact checker. Uh, yes. Good job, John. I figured Ping was also probably on it. <laughs> um, but I, um, I put them because they were smaller. So I did, it equaled two regular size ones, so. I don't know. What else? Oh, let's see. This week was... Oh, Denise, send me the pictures of your kitchen. Oh, yeah. Denise's, Denise's kitchen has got cabinets. No floor, but cabinets. So that's exciting. Oh, and they got trim too, huh? Yeah, they trimmed out the, the crown molding, like, or molding the top. And... Ooh, la, la, la. So I'm adding this uh, two cloves of garlic to this. The internet says they are the same. Well, whose internet? Who are you looking at? I want to hear it from Bon Appetit. Look at you, you fancy Lala. What's that? Garlic? Garlic. And now I'm, this is four ounces of cream cheese. Really, you want to make sure this has been out for at least two hours. Softened. Yes. Room temperature? No, still colder. No, it's it's so, like room temperature. It is. Yeah. John, where are you yelling? Yeah. Turn your caps up. Um. Okay, so we've got that. We've got that. We need a half cup of Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. Let me show you these. I'm gonna try. Oh yeah, okay, so uh, hold on, baby. Okay, so this is Denise's new kitchen. See on the floor in the lower left, that's how far her old pantry stood out. And it was dumb because it faced the dining room instead of facing the kitchen. 
So this is what that's going to look like on that wall. The fridge built in. So good. So I'm measuring this with my heart. It needs to be half a cup, but I think I know what that looks like. We should always measure cheese with our heart. Jack, enough. He is not wearing one. So this is all binding, binding, binding. And so now we need two tablespoons of olive oil. To get Measure it. it with all of that. Oh, you didn't give me my little iPad, so I can't do the zoomies. Oh, it's okay. Crap. Yeah, well, I forget about it. Two tablespoons of this. Now I'm just getting these mixes together because, um, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. Are you mixing recipes up? If you would give them to me to read to you, I would do it. Oh, you weren't supposed to put it in there. We're gonna, we're gonna just. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, everybody. That's not going to make hardly any difference at all, if it even does. It's not going to make any difference. Ooh. It's going to be fine. This is all fine. Just don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. Have a, oh, you put the cheese in there and you weren't supposed to? I was supposed to not put anything in here. Oh, Douglas. Well, that's not true. I was supposed to put all this in here, but after the fact, when the vegetables were hot. And as I was putting that stuff in here, um, I was like, kind of rang a bell. I was like, this doesn't make any sense because how it's not going to be hot enough to melt the cheese. And then I was like, that's because you're not supposed to do that. So there you go. Good thing. Well, mistakes happen when you're fixing it. Yeah, I am fixing it. So that's where we're at. No big deal. No big whoop. It up so we don't have to. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, we might want to change the name of the show to that. <laughs> What's this to learn from his mistakes? Doug borks it up so we don't have to. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a secondary <laughs> show called Whoa! Shh. Denise is over there having a party. Jeez, Denise. Adriana had some vocal concerns about all this stuff going into the bowl. We'll tell her to speak up. You know what? We appreciate we appreciate <laughs> all of all of your input everywhere, everyone. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. So these will these are gonna do their thing. I was like, why do I have this? And then my brain, like, you know when sometimes you just don't kick in. This is gonna go for, I mean, a few minutes. All it really, all we really want this to do is everything to soften. I don't want this to be too um, mushy. Too mushy, exactly. So mix it all up. It's gonna smell like wonderfully heaven in here. I'm gonna give it a little salt and pepper. All, all of these things that are in here, the mushrooms, the uh, leeks, and the garlic, all <laughs> love salt and pepper. And we're gonna be adding um, you know, it back to cream cheese. So you want to make sure that. Why is there a dog in the kitchen? I don't know. He probably smelt something that he thought he could get. <laughs> well, at least you're starting to you're starting to pick it up. What else? What else did we do this week? Um, I started moving my oh, that's right. studio to a different room. It is very much a pain in the butt. I really need to go through my stuff, but I'm not good at that. I need help. She says that, but then she's going to have to buy something in two months when she needs it. No, I have a lot of duplicates of things, that, but I, it's so hard for me to, like, let it go. I don't know. You know. How well did you rinse those leaks? <laughs> I, good. I mixed all, I took all of the, uh, pretty much the bigger outer leaves off. And when I was slicing them earlier before we started, I looked into it. So, 
I went and got a bunch of veg because I made a beef soup with yeah. beef vegetable soup yesterday, and I just sort of threw it together. I didn't have a recipe or anything. I knew kind of what I was doing, and then I, um, yeah. So, oh, let's turn this oven on because we want to make sure <laughs> we have it on because we need to. You, with Crostini, you're gonna toast. You know these toast. Oh, it is like a different realm. What is? <laughs> King said, my caption said that I said instead of a different room, I said a different realm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not an untru un untrue assessment. Right. Magical worlds are created there. It's true. The new studio consists of a lot of pegboard. Which is good. <laughs> so I thought about this, because you said like you didn't want to do pegboard in your den because then it looks more utilitarian and you still want it to have like a den feel, blah -de blah blah right? I want a techno den. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. But I think that you could, we could put pegboard up and then we could have like swinging door pictures that go over it so when you're not using that stuff you close the frames and then it just looks like framed artwork yeah that could work no that is a great idea i don't think you're understanding what a great idea i'm having i, I can't i'm cutting i can't do two four things at once <laughs> no it's probably going to be fine I'm, or better than five. Yes, that would be super cute, DP. And have you seen the people who have the pegboard and they paint on it like it's cross stitch fabric? <gasps> so cute. I didn't do any of that because I just didn't. So here's what the, the inside of that. <laughs> I did looks paint like. it pink, though. I think it looks pretty great. Yeah, that's a good texture. Wait, let me feel it. It's different. Not as. I mean, it's a little firmer. But the outside of light, it's not going to get so hard that it cuts your mouth. That's what I'm hoping. <clears throat> I know, right? I really don't want to have to go to the ER. For... Listen, only my thumb, only this thumb is what gets cut. Always. Always that thumb. It's true. Your thumb. Hey, Woody, out of my kitchen. Yes, Jen. It'll be okay. Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Side Dish. And this week we talk about food safety. Uh, <laughs> or not. And tool safety in the kitchen. So. Here you go. You can have these two little butts. Oh, I like the ends. I know you do. That's why I'm giving them to you. See? That was just a slight detour. Here's every... a little snake peek. A lot of pegboard. Okay. So be awesome. turn that off. And then we're going to just spoon this in here. Guess there's no food in here for you, bud. Oh, gosh, do you. Esther. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm wanting. Because, again, if you look at the, these are sliced pretty thin. But, oh, God, it's so hard. I eat it. Um, but it has some tooth to it, which I think is going to be good. Now, if you have been a shit fan of this show for a long time, you know that we've made, not Christine, I don't think. What's the thing we got? The artichoke heart and... Um, bruschetta. 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 So... I, What's the difference? I think, if, I'm, if I remember what I was reading... That Christini, the bread goes in and gets toasted and then topped. Ah, and bruschetta, no? And the bruschetta, I believe, does not. Mm. Well, no, because you didn't do it last week, so there's a week in between, John. What? Of your nerd shirt. <laughs> yeah. Steffi is um, scripting him or dialoguing him. 
Why have you forsaken me, Father? I require breads. I require a leek, Father. I are a good boy. Please, mushroom, Father. <laughs> no. I don't feed dogs. Okay. So what we got to do here is we need to brush these with olive oil. So let's get a container and then... We'll... Ow, my finger's stuck. Now I see two dogs, and they're both... Not supposed to be in the kitchen. Beep up. You got all the beepers. Out of the kitchen. Woody, Gus, out of the kitchen. Is Gus on his hip? Yes. Look at him. Oh, shoot. He sits on one hip and like so, gets himself all settled to watch you cook. It's pretty cute. Okay. So the oven's set to 375. And again, you're going to brush these with olive oil on one side. And you want to get, you know, good stuff here. Now, I like my bread slices thicker. Ooh, the oven is ready, which is good. Well, I'm... Oh, oh, oh. You caught it. Yeah. It's not the greatest catch ever, but I did catch it. Oh man, I don't know, man. It's uh, this 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 has been busy. I've been streaming a lot for our my the esports club, but so that's made me go back, and then I started streaming Minecraft again the other day, just kind of to do something to do. There's only so much Civilization Five you can play before you know you kind of got to move on. So. I'll play it again probably this this weekend. Who knows? Hey, John, speaking of, you never confirmed. Can you play D&D tomorrow or not? Because if not, I'm canceling it right now. But I'm also, we're in tentative mode because of weather. So. But they did plow our streets, so I'm hoping they plowed other places. Maybe. Denise, you were out driving. Did they plow other things? They were pretty melted by this afternoon. Oh, okay. Well, we'll hope. That? Olive oil looks so yellow on the bread. Yeah. It sure does. I was thinking that it's the exact same thing. Have truck will travel. Does that mean yes? Okay. I'm taking that as a yes. Yes. I'm, me too. What's that sound? I mean, could be anything. I'm not doing this in any kind of um, spray or mat or anything. Because mm -mm. I'm putting the dry side down. Well, oh wait, so I thought this was six and six and six. It turns out it's seven, six and six. It doesn't matter. I still got that and that's pretty weird. Didn't even try for it. All right, so this is just gonna go in for like, five, six minutes to get it crossed up. John says literally the last thing he said was Sunday is good. I think you did too. I think I remember reading that as well. <sighs> two against one, two against it's not, one. It's not a competition, everybody. Yeah, I don't know why Doug has been streaming so late because I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. You're out of control. Because I got nothing else to do. All right, so we need to do the same thing, I think, on these ones. But let's just double check because you never know. Uh, yes, so let's prep and do these in a minute. Um, and then we'll, then we'll move on. And then, so the cocktail tonight is because we had lemons, limes, oranges, and then the re leftover grapefruit juice. And we have Topo Chico, so we're going to do like a... Basically, what, what's it called? Like a tequila Texas cooler or something like that? Citrus cooler? I don't know. That seems like a lot. Citrus cooler? Yeah. But I was like, yeah, I like all of those things. I tried to get him to just uh, do the pog juice with rum, but... Speaking of which... Ooh. Speaking of which, Ping, pog ice cream has been made. <laughs> so... I don't know. I, 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 Amy and I have varying opinions on it. I still think it's good. I just think it could be more pog flavored forward. But 
Well, it was very cold. Maybe my taste buds went numb. It's true. You did do this move. Oh, it's so cool. Well, and you gave me this gigantor bite, so I couldn't even, like, move it around. Where is it? Is it in here? Yes, it's in there. You want to pull it out, so just in case we're... Well, I want to try it again. Is it the pink one? Yes. It's pretty. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pod color. What's the other one? Vanilla. Delicious vanilla ice cream. That's for peanut butter parfaits. It is for peanut butter parfaits, and it tastes so good. This new ice cream machine is one of the best things I've ever bought. No. Yeah, well, yes, with the slammers and shit. But the, basically, the pog is pineapple, orange, and guava, right? Yeah. And that's, um, that's pog juice used to come with pogs on them, and that's why they're called pogs. Really? Is that true? Yes. I like this. It could be more flavorful, but I enjoy it. Oh. Listen, I mean, I know, I, I, I could have called it something besides Doug does, but I like the alliteration, you know, I could have guess I could have called it something like Bookie Builds or I don't know, whatever. What you, you know, give give the guy a break. <laughs> Pog Pog juice ice cream. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I figured we just. Ice cream. Oh, sorry, it's sorbet <laughs> or sherbet. It's sherbet. Oh, can you, we'll need to get the glasses for this. Um, okay. you, the ones that, the, the, you know, you know which ones. You know the guys. God, I, I am all over the place today. I got up and had to shovel, and that was terrible. Actually, it didn't take too long, but, but my back hurt. How are you doing now? You were napping. You were napping. I know when the rig went bloop bloop, are you going out and bloop bloop, are you coming in? I don't believe you. Here, here here's some more butts. Bag it butts, drive me nuts. Oh, yeah, so that's gonna toast up real good. We're gonna wait for this one. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go to. We'll start to prep. We're gonna, this is begin. 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 Mm, I need. Buddy. What's happening? I still have my slammers. I. You know what? I that somehow doesn't surprise me in the, in the slice. You know because I have things. I and I still have the. Magic cards that I had in the early 90s. No, you don't. You gave them to the boys. No, I didn't give those ones to the boys. Oh, my God. Well, so. Right. Hi, Danny. Hi, Dee. How's my boy? Did you see those pictures? I was just say oh, that. my God. Way. Did you see the pictures of the baby pictures? Yes, oh I think the baby pictures, of course. That kid is so good. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. So now we're going to make this. So I have about five and a quarter ounces you only need, but I'm going to trim this a little bit because it's a little bit more fatty than we might want. But we don't want to take too much because we want fat is flavor, right, everybody? Fat is flavor. <clears throat> and I'm going to cube this. This is a, just a piece of chunk of ham, and the reason I'm gonna I'm gonna make them fairly small, like because when we mix it all together, I really want the the ham pieces to kind of crisp up. Like that cheddar. Yeah, when it's when it goes into the oven under the broiler. So. Oh, you probably have to throw that back to me. Don't know why I did that. Don't know why I did that. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> Plus, I also don't want, um, like, 
I don't want super big chunks. It's better mouthfeel. I like the mouthfeel. <laughs> Name that movie. Not you. I, I was going to say. Dave. <laughs> Have been... Oh, I started rewatching the ser the Poker Face series. I like it when people refer to themselves or other people as salty. <laughs> That's a good description. You do like when people describe themselves as salty. Nobody ever describes me as salty, which I think I'm pretty salty a lot of the time. What is this? Who just messaged? Yeah, p -p poker face. That was um, Corvin's joke. He called Doug to tell him. Oh my God, he was. He couldn't have been. How do you wake up, Lady Gaga? You p -p 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 poker face. <laughs> he had to be only maybe five years old. No, he was older than that. No, I don't think so. Really? I think he was. He was younger. I don't know. It was hilarious. Either way, he told his dad <laughs> that he had to call me and tell me this joke, and he he said. How do you, Uncle Doug, how do you wake up Lady Gaga? And I was like, I don't know. And he said, you po -po -po poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. I think Lady Gaga would appreciate that. I think she would too. Uh, but yeah, it's a good show. If you haven't watched it, it's on Hulu, I believe. Um, it does not have Lady Gaga in it. No, it's got Natasha Leone, right? And she's so good. She's really good. She's gotten better... Hulu, I think. I don't know. It's really hot. She's so relatable. Some of the things she does in that show, I'm like, yeah, I like it. I also just love that she is like a master crossword puzzler and yeah. has done like many. She's written crossword yeah, puzzles does, for New York Times. Yeah, she's been guested many times. So that's why people were like, why is she. Among all those people, they're like, why is uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and like Natasha and with like see, S Steven Soderbergh, S uh, Sondheim, Steven Sondheim, right? Sondheim, Sondheim, I don't know, the, the musical guy, and Angela Lansbury because in in that movie Glass Onion, Glass Onion, yeah. and the He's reason talking to them on the yeah the reason yeah. that they that they are there is because. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is one of the foremost Sherlock Holmes experts, and he has written a number of books about um, Mycroft Holmes. Yeah. And so there's that, and then because she's a puzzler for the New York Times. So there you go. <sighs> that was exhausting. We got there in the end, though. I love how uh, Benoit Blanc hates Clue. <laughs> Terrible game. Terrible game. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. I got the two mixed up because you're only sp you're supposed to just combine this stuff after I chop it into here. You don't need to. Then you can then you heat it up under the broiler as well. So, so this is where the ham goes in. Give me <laughs> that bit from Pat Oswalt might be one of the best bits ever. And this, if you just saw me, you would think a guy from the future wearing some sort of futuristic jumpsuit, which is gray sweatpants and gray sweatpants. You should watch it. I can't remember what special it is on there, but it's just, I want all the harm. So, the, take the other half of this cream cheese, throw it in there. And so what do we got here? We have drained, for the most part, I'm giving it a little shaker, Artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes, and roasted red pepper. This is going to be a flavor bomb. I think roasted red, no, sorry, sun-dried tomatoes are one of the most underutilized ingredients in cooking, if you ask me. Adriana said that sun-dried tomatoes are vegan bacon. Yep, they can be. I think it's I... Like no, it's like a thing that you add to other things to like up the flavor. Oh, that oh. was my understanding. Okay. Yes. They are they're they're just wonderful. Like 
Every time I have them, I'm like, I should just really cook with these more. But we are going to cook with them more because I pine nuts were on sale at Costco. And we do this artichoke heart, you know, sun-dried tomato, uh, pine nut sort of pasta that with a, uh, a white sauce that's good. I think I'm stroking out. Let's <laughs> hope not. Do you need some water? No, Are you I'm thirsty? Good. No. I don't think so. You just have too much stuff on your mind? I guess. I don't know what's happening. You fix that bowl of stuff, John. Separated it out and got it fixed. Don't worry. Where were you? I was probably making dinner. Ah. But back to the soup. Um, that Yeah, see, Adriana, I listen. That was um, really good. Like, really good. The soup you made? It was very good. Yes. Oh, yeah, it is time for the drink. I know it is. I'm trying to get this chopped in. Yeah, and see, then... Pink knows what's going on. He does. He... Listen, there's... <laughs> I'm telling you. There's More all... so than you do. There's only one person who knows what's <laughs> happening. And that's Pink. <laughs> I'm 100% sure of it every week. It's, um, you know, I'm going to have to inquire about some favorite things and send them to him because he's the only one who knows what's happening. That keeps track here. So again, the roasted red peppers are also really good and flavorful. Like I made something, oh, I made a roasted red pepper like a mushroom uh, aioli oh, yeah, dipping sauce. Really so good so so good the the umami bomb of it plus the little bit of sweetness from the roasted it's so good nice nice you two are gonna be so hungover tomorrow you don't drink like that <laughs> or maybe they maybe maybe they have when, we just tough, don't know it's been a tough one for everybody <laughs> Though, 6 o'clock came around today, everybody. And it was still light And it was still outside. light. And you know what happens next week? Daylight saving. March 10th. Is that good? Is that going to help me or hurt me? It's lighter at night. So I can actually start. Hey, oh, by the way, uh, if you haven't started vegetables in your for your garden, if you're doing seedlings, you might want to get on it, um, depending on your region. But... Uh, any cold weather crops that are frost resistant, like, um, I don't know, uh, broccoli, peas, you could even get started and then transplant. But now's the time. So. Is it really? You always start things so early. No, it is because, but it's going to be April and then it's going to be May and it's going to be fine. So you need to have strong plants. 12 weeks. Place. Eight to twelve weeks, I should say, which is right. right that's up. right. You can't plant until there's no snow on Pevine. Yeah, Eric Rainey and I agree that that's bullshit. So <laughs> Eric Rainey made us a magnet that said, "I don't care what Pevine says. I'm planting my tomatoes." Yeah. <laughs> I've got a plan. We'll see if I can execute it this year. My plan is to. We have a rock wall in the backyard. And the I Doug hates. Well, I hate it. So, I don't know why you hate it so much. Because it's just in the way. Uh, so I'm going to plant things like nasturtiums and morning glory and all that kind of stuff inside the rock wall so it fills in. Oh, and uh, what else? Oh, um, black-eyed Susans. So that's they're the viney ones, which pretty apparently... There's two different kinds, viney ones and non-viney ones. So the ones I bought and put in baskets last year, uh, or planted and put in baskets last year, were not the viney ones. <laughs> so. I don't want those in baskets anyways. I want my sweet potato vines back. I'm planting all along the back is going to be sweet potato vines. Oh, I want sweet potato vines in the hanging baskets. No. Yes. That's how I, what I like. Okay. So, ow, that's really hot. Why is that so hot? Oh, because that's wet. Cool. Letting the heat through? Yep, that is not going to be conducive to not burning Doug. Yep. Um, 
I want to plant sweet million cherry tomatoes. They look so beautiful and bountiful. Ooh, that would be pretty. Oh yeah, see these are good because they're they're gonna the topping will go on this side and they're gonna be crispy on the bottom. So this is good. So that one goes out and we're gonna put the other one in. Let it do its thing and then we'll mix and then we'll make a drink and then we'll put everything into the broiler. Okay. Perfect. We're right on time, everybody. They, they only cook underneath the broiler for like two minutes. So. So this is and you don't you don't heat that prior. No, because everything is already cooked. cooked. So. Okay. So that you just mix up? That, according There's to this. cream cheese, ham, and the veggies? Yep. Uh, you could put, if you wanted to put some fresh, if you had fresh basil or parsley, you could put it in there as a garnish, but you don't really need to, so. What a cherry chocolate. They're, um, do they just look very chocolatey? Do I know what I'm, yes, what I'm chop, what I was chopping is roasted red peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, and garlic, or artichoke hearts. Oh, and I need to put the garlic in here. You know what you're chopping because we all <laughs> The drink is going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. Are they called cherry chocolate tomatoes because they have brown stripes or what's the deal? I believe yes. There's like um, different varieties. That, like they're called, they're chocolate. They don't taste like chocolate, but they're brown. They do look brownish. Okay. Yeah. Lisa. What's damn it, Denise? Did you? Oh. You guys, Denise won the lottery. Technically, yes. Yeah. How much did we win? Four million dollars? Oh, ten dollars. <laughs> Our financial woes are over. <laughs> ten dollars? Yeah. <laughs> they do taste different. Like what? Like how? Give me some sweeter, saltier, safe, more savory. Uh, because I'm not like really a huge tomato fan. Okay, so now we just mix. And I like cooked to me. We just make sure I've got everything. Because, you know, I'm crazy. You are crazy. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be real good. I can already tell. I, you know what I'm going to do, though? I think I'm gonna, I am going to add some... Amazon cheese. A little smoky in the flavor. Mm. Yeah, I bet you there's different little, a little different like total flavor profile in this. No, same in the cherry chocolate tomato. No, that's what I mean. There probably there is a little bit of a flavor profile. Oh, I thought you were referring to the thing you're mixing. Sorry. <laughs> there's too many conversations happening. I can't keep up. Right, so let's just do a little, little. You don't need to do nearly as much. I mean, you could, but. <laughs> and again, that's just going to add a nice depth and bind, help bind a little bit too. So how are you going to get that onto the crostini? I'm just going to take this and like butter it on. Seems that that doesn't meet your standards. <laughs> I'm going to. I think you should use a scoop. You always think I should use a scoop? Scoop and press. Scoop and press. It's, it'll be easier. Nah. It'll be easier. I promise. Oh, there'll be another thing. Oh, please. Get yelled at for that. Please. All right. Cocktail. So, oh, I got to get a Topo Chico. Just 
Do, 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 do. do you want me to start? No. Because I've got to wait for those to come out. But you have the ones behind you. They could just go right in. But. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where it gets tedious a little bit because we got or lemon juice, half ounce. Everything's a half ounce here. Half ounce of this, half ounce of orange juice. Oh, I got these fancy new bottles. I was just going to say, look at your new bottles. What's that? Lime juice. Oh, you know. The boys are monsters, Danny. Yep. Monsters. They're good. No, they're fine. Exactly. I was going to say they're fine. <laughs> and then a half ounce of uh, <clears throat> simple syrup. If you have agave syrup, you can use that. But nobody, no, no real person has that. They ran around. Well, all of the dogs ran around in the snow like it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. When they, uh... I got you glasses. They're right there on the counter. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Um, they ran around like. It was the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, like the Japanese. <laughs> that's oh, that's gonna be good. That smell. That just smells good. Uh, it's probably very similar to. Like a bubbly margarita, I would bet. Who knows? I mean, what do I know? I don't know anything. Apparently. A bubbly margarita? I had a bubbly margarita before. <laughs> Why next week? I almost, they were some, a tequila sunrise, like, spritzer that was part of a... Get out of the kitchen, please. Okay, <laughs> it was a couple of weeks ago, and I don't even know why we ended up doing it, but Denise and I ended up staying up way too late awesome. playing Yahtzee. How was it? And it's very good. And I was like, oh, I'm adding Topo Chico to my wine. And Denise said, wow, you really are middle-aged. <laughs> Best glasses ever, Deefy says. Yeah, these are pretty good. We uh, we have a lot of them. Where did we where did we procure them from? Their stores. That's right. It's pretty tequila. -y. The grapefruit juice on your kids' feet. I mean. Good. Let's see, how many ounces we got here? So. <laughs> Never were anywhere else. <laughs> I actually got two from a different place, and uh, a different thrift store, and they are the same pattern, but they're just, Sorry? the pattern is tighter, and they're just slightly not, their diameter is slightly smaller. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I was going to say, that it, I mean. But otherwise, they, I mean, yeah. originally thought, oh, I'll just put them in our bathroom and they'll be our, like, taking pills glasses. But then I was like, Amy, why do you have separate glasses for taking pills and other things? So what are you doing? So I didn't do it. Stir. <clears throat> Deck apparently has no opinion on that. <coughs> Sorry, I was trying to get through this cocktail. Mm. All right. Now, ooh, I like it. Okay, here we go. 
So, probably if it were me for the next time, I'd probably go maybe a little bit more cream cheese. Seems a little loose, but we'll see. And what I'm going to do, folks, so we can have both and we can... Okay, have... John, you're making me feel better about that. What? He says he has separate bedside glasses. They're jelly jars from the 80s with Fozzie Bear and Miss Piggy. Oh. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, see? Perfect. I used to have one of those things where you, like, fill it in the... It's like a little pitcher and the, your water glass goes over the top of it so it keeps the dust out. Oh, yeah. I forgot about I that. I know. Thing. I've purchased them several times and then we never use them and then I donate them and then I see them somewhere and I'm like, oh, that's so useful and I purchase another one. Mwah. We don't have any now. Okay. See? Now. Make sure we got this. So we got here. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means. I'm going to do that many. And we're going to do some of the others. And then we will warm them through and call it good. One, two, three, four, five, five. This is the other recipe. The other recipe. I know you don't want to admit it, but do you think now that a, the scoop might have been easier? No. I don't. <clears throat> I'm a fast typer. And really, what we're doing here is just the, you know, this is just going to warm the mix through for everything and get nice and gooey and delicious. If you're already nice and gooey and delicious, well, congratulations. <laughs> Don't grab that. No. Oops, sorry, I didn't track you. It's cool. I'm moving at max speed. I did find out this week that I'm on the job hunt again for next year. Yeah, that's a bummer. That kind of stinks, but whatever. We'll see. It's going to work out. I can feel it. It will. It worked out this year, so yeah. it'll work out next year. Oh, man. It doesn't taste very much. probably give it, give it a little bit. Hot damn. That is delightful. Oh, could I put more? Cheese, cream cheese. Yeah, I think so. I think that if you went eight ounces, eight ounces, it, that or equivalent, I think that would be good. So. Uh, Adrian and I are both on the hunt. Okay. We'll support each other. We can do it. We're going to land somewhere great. We're not, awesome. we're not moving to Springfield. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I love you, but that's not happening. <laughs> uh, yeah, my retirement that won't transfer to Springfield. So. It's gonna take a couple minutes, babe, for adult to. It's true. True that. <clears throat> so, so, how's the esports team going, Douglas? It's going good. Um, yeah, things are happening. Lots of things. I got people. I got meetings tomorrow. and I got, Sunday. Yeah. The house across the street is for sale. Is that the one that Doug knocked down there? Um, I didn't mailbox? knock it down. I just made it askew. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so. It would be nice to see Theo all the time. It would be. I'm not. That is not in debate. It's just. Where are you going? I'm throwing that into the, the the stuffy stuff. Yeah. The compost. Yeah. Savages. It's Springfield, Missouri. John. 
Well, they, you know, they never really say where the Simpsons are. It's just Springfield. True. So, though they got that one right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault that those mailboxes were there. I don't think Doug's ever been to a Turkish prison. He didn't go and go cook out some of the mailboxes. Well, he was backing up and he was like, Did I just hit something? I'm like, I don't see anything. And then later, <laughs> Danny said, Who hit the mailboxes out there? And I was like, Oh. <laughs> I guess I did. That would be your brother. <laughs> Okay, okay. I think these are... Oh, yeah. There's a sizzle. There's a sizzling happen. A sizzling. You think that means they're heated all the way through? Are they bubbling? Looking pretty good. Yeah, because you don't, but you don't want Here to... Here we get... go, folks. Holy get shit, ready. It's very, it's too hot. It's almost, <laughs> it's too hot. Yeah. It's gonna be cream cheese, so it's gonna like. I mean, I've never um, been to Turkey, so there's no way I could have been to a Turkish prison. Why are we? Why are we talking about Turkish? Prison? I don't know. I don't Nate is asking if I've ever been to a Turkish prison. I don't know what it means. It's too hot. I can't even touch it. But I'll do it for you. Yeah. That's really good. How does it compare to? Is it so hot? I'm gonna need this. Yeah. It might be okay. like this. How does it compare to um the artichoke? I I I like this a lot. I think it's very good. The flavor of that one is very complex and like. So which one is this one? That's the sun-dried tomatoes and artichoke hearts and everything. It's good. And ham? Uh -huh. Does this one have the ham? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's an airplane reference. My bad. Out of context. Uh, it's because I mentioned Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, huh? That's a, that's a hell of a leap, man. <laughs> I love you, but man. Woo! Okay, that's... They're both really good. No, it's not near. This one's oh, not as hot anymore. What do you think? Mm, that's good. Yeah. Yes, I don't know if Tiny Whisk has made an appearance on the stream. He wasn't involved in the making of this meal. It's true, because his tines would have gotten stuff filled into him, and then he would have been... So, life is woe. Well. Here, here you go. I can't. I got my hands full. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we did it. I mean, the rest is the, rest is the same. We, re, we, we top, we go. Got to know what Amy thinks of this one, though. So crunchy. Mm. Of the two, which one do you like better? The first one. Yeah, I do, too. But that's good. But I think had I had this one first, it would be it would be a stronger contender. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, we love you. Thank you for st coming back, uh, even though we took a week off. It's not because we hate you. <sighs> Anyways, remember, <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching Amy eat these, so she must like it. Um, mm -hmm. Remember that uh, next week, who knows what's going to happen. So be kind and be loyal and do something nice for somebody next week and, you know, make their day or their week or their month. We love you so much and we will see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.